Okay, well, um, I have a thousand list here that um, I want to take a look at. If oh, okay. Can. And tell me a little bit of a, a few, pick a few things there that um, are important to you. Uh, okay. Um, well, first I would say good parent. That that would be a big one for me. Um, competent would be another one. Um, not hypocritical would be another one. Probably if I had to pick a fourth one, I might say in control. Tell me a little bit about how these characteristics relate to um, you trying to prevent uh, getting the school set onset of diabetes. Well, as far as being a good parent goes, I know if I get sick, there's probably a lot of things I won't be able to do for my kids, mm -hmm. like, you know, provide for them. Um, I might not be able to work. I might not. Um, and, you know, I, I guess part of it is if I learn how to lose weight and have good nutrition for myself, I can pass that on to them because... Chances are they've got the same, um, they've got the same medical history I have, the same things in their background to worry about, like diabetes. Mm -hmm. And so if they could learn at an early age how to be healthy, that they might not have to worry about this like I'm worried about it right now. Um, and I think competence is, you know, being able to, to figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, set some goals and figure out how to get to the point where I have my eating habits, um, have healthy eating habits, and be able to maintain them for the rest of my life, I guess. Um, and not hypercritical, I, it's, I think that's, for me, that's, you know, I'm always telling my kids, you know, you shouldn't eat so many sweets. You shouldn't be, you know, you should eat more vegetables and eat more fruit instead of junk food. And, but yeah, I'm guilty of doing the same thing. And so I'd like for us to maybe be able to eat the same way and be supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, that makes sense. Right. <laughs> She also said in control. In control is, is like being in control of what I'm eating. And so, you know, rather than, you know, give in to, you know, cravings for ice cream or cravings for cookies mm -hmm. or, you know, potato chip cravings and things like that, I can, you know, learn how to deal with those things and mm -hmm. not give in to those things and, you know, have a healthier, healthier eating habits. So you really, just to, you know, kind of talk about what you just said, um, so losing weight is kind of the, you want to be able to be a good role model for your children, not only be there for them in a good state of health, in a good, in a healthy state, but also be there for them um, and um, be able to provide for them and also be a good example in kind of the way that they will live their life in the future. Right. Okay, and then you said confident, you want to be able to set goals and achieve them. You know, you're mm -hmm. determined to, um, when, you, when you have a goal, to, to see it to the end. And yeah. so that's really important to you in kind of this context as well. Yes. Yes. Um, and then you were talking about not being hypocritical. You were saying um, you don't want to be... You don't want to. You don't want to um, preach to your children, but the, and at the same time, you're not following what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And by eating sweets, you feel guilty about that, and you feel like you're not um, staying true to your word. And so that also kind of makes your children feel like, why should I? That could also make your children feel like, why? Why would I listen to what you have to say when you're not? When you're not actually following it yourself? So mm -hmm. that that's also scary. Yes, exactly. 
and just in control. You want to be able to just be disciplined, and if you don't want to do something, then you're able to not do it, and, and just kind of like, you know, think, okay, well, you know, I it would be nice to have the sweet, but I am disciplined, and I know how to control myself, and I'm not going to have it because it's not good for my health or whatever. So. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's really great that you're able to identify these important characteristics and link them back to the reasons why it's important for you to um, to wait and and um, yeah, lead a health, healthier lifestyle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you just tell me about um, on a scale of one to ten, how important is it to you to lose the weight in order to prevent um, getting diabetes? Um, if 10 is really important, mm-hmm. or, uh, okay. I would say it is very important. I would say probably an 8. Okay. And in terms of confidence, on scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, um, how confident are you that you're actually able to achieve this? Well, that would be a whole different thing. I'd say 2 or 3. Um, so, confidence could be higher. What is? Mm-hmm. What are the? Tell me about kind of the, the barriers in making you feel like you make that number a higher number. What are the barriers in kind of feeling more confident in in your ability to lose weight? Well, I think a couple things. I I have tried in the past, and and I've lost weight, but I've gained it all back, and. and I only I, I only seem to be able to stay on one of these bad diets for, you know, a few weeks at a time, and then I can't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. So I know how that feels. Plus, I also my lifestyle is really busy, and I know it's not going to get any quieter for a long time. Mm-hmm. So it's like things that I know I would need to do, like cooking and finding low fat, low calorie recipes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I just don't see me finding the time for all of that. So I'm going to have to learn how to eat healthier within the context of the way I'm eating right now, which I find is going to be a little bit difficult. Okay. So you're determined to kind of, to, to take the steps in, in becoming, um, in, in losing the weight and, and, and um, eating more healthy, but mm-hmm. you're finding that your lifestyle is not really conducive to that because of all the different things you have to incorporate into your daily activities and it's kind of overwhelming. Yes, exactly. It is overwhelming. That's that's how I feel right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, you said that you know you were successful in, in the past in losing the weight, um, but uh, these diets are kind of difficult to adhere to mm-hmm. on a long-term basis. Yeah. And kind of the cooking and um, is, was the exercise also involved in, in, in these diets that you tried? Like, was exercise part of that? I didn't really focus so much on exercise. I, I guess because you know I enjoy exercise. That's not a problem. Time is a problem. I I don't have time to do it, but you know I I there are ways I can exercise if I really. You know, I, I, I can walk at lunchtime with my co-workers around the gym mm-hmm. or, you know, I know with the weather becoming nice, I love to be outside, mm-hmm. so I do cut the grass and take care of the, the garden and all that kind of thing. So I get a lot of natural exercise, I think. Mm-hmm. But it's just the eating habits. We love to eat out. Mm-hmm. We snack, and I, it's hard for me to watch my kids snack and not participate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So kind of um, adhering to these diets with kind of these other um, distractions, food mm-hmm. distractions yeah. is, is difficult for you and it kind of after you gain the weight back you feel kind of defeated and just, you know, yeah. I've tried so hard to, to, to lose the weight and I was able to for, but just for only a short amount of time so it doesn't feel like it's something that um, can happen long term. Yes. Yeah. Tell me about your day, about how like a typical day goes in terms of, you know, just when you wake up to when you go to sleep. Yeah. Well, I'm a teacher. <clears throat> Both my kids are still in school, so mm-hmm. 
I'm up at like at six o'clock in the morning, sometimes five thirty, and you know, just get the coffee going, get everybody up, and everybody takes showers, mm-hmm. and you know, just kind of getting everybody ready, making sure the kids have their books and their homework and all that stuff, mm-hmm. getting them out the door, getting them to the bus stop on time, and then I grab, you know, my stuff I need for the day and out the door I go. Mm -hmm. Um, Usually when I get to work I have maybe a half an hour before my students actually come in Mm -hmm. so you know we all say good morning to each other and there's always somebody's always brought either donuts or bagels or Mm -hmm. it's somebody's birthday and they've got a cake or something so there's stuff to eat in the break room Mm -hmm. and by then I'm kind of hungry so I grab something out of there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then when the students come in I I'm pretty much on my feet a lot during the morning, so mm-hmm. walking around. So I, I think that helps, you know, being, you know, active, being on my feet a lot. Then comes lunchtime, and, and I'm usually starving, but I usually want to either go out and just read and get some quiet time or mm-hmm. run a couple of errands. Mm-hmm. So I go out and I hit a drive through pick up a submarine sandwich or pick up, you know, a sandwich at Wendy's or something, and then do my thing, and then I come back. And then we, at the, during the afternoon, we have classes. The students are gone about four, I'd say. Mm-hmm. And then my kids have after-school activities and stuff they participate in. So they're not going to be ready to be picked up until about six. Mm-hmm. So I have a couple hours. Five minutes just, remaining interview? I just stay in my, at my desk, and I have some snacks in my drawer. I'll get some cheese and crackers or, mm-hmm. you know, peanut butter and crackers or something while I correct papers or... You know, get stuff done ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Then I pick my kids up and we go to eat dinner mm-hmm. at some restaurant. Mm-hmm. And um, so by the time we get home, it's like seven, seven thirty, and they've got homework to do. And I'm tired. I just kind of fall in the chair and turn on the TV. And then, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they usually get to watch a couple hours of TV before they go to bed. And mm-hmm. That's when they pull out the ice cream or the cookies or something. Okay, so, I mean, it sounds like your day is just really busy and you're just running around and worrying about getting your children out the door as well as, you know, worrying about the kids at school and um, just also getting your your alone time and and kind of doing all that. It's just like the foods that are around in order to just, you know, get the job done in terms of being full um, are just maybe not the the healthiest options out there. Mm -hmm. And so it's just really hard to resist when you don't have that much time and effort to think about, um, to think about um, like planning out what you're what you're going to eat, or thinking about oh how many how many calories or anything of, does this have? Exactly, and it seems like a lot of work. I mean, when you when you're planning things out like that, you really have to sit down and think about it and plan it all out and mm-hmm. look up calories or points or fat grams or whatever it is you're doing. Mm-hmm. A lot. It's overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me about what what worked when you um, did try to lose weight in the past. I think the most success, successful thing that worked for me was Weight Watchers because mm-hmm. you know it was support of other people. Plus, it was you could have just about anything you wanted to eat. You just had to you know portion it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I could go to a birthday party. I could go on vacation and feel like I could take my diet with me. Um, I enjoyed the meetings, but it got to the point where I didn't have time to, to get there. Mm-hmm. And then weighing and measuring all the food and you know preparing things at night ahead of time, I just got tired. And, you know, it, was, it was a lot to mm-hmm. accomplish. But I did lose about 10 pounds, so I think that worked the best. That's great. Um, so having that, having that like outside support is really is really helpful in kind of knowing um, what you should and shouldn't be eating and um, being able to plan your days out based on what we the the guidance of Weight, Watch, Weight Watchers yeah. that really helped you in kind of losing the weight. Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. Okay, if you don't mind, is it okay if I summarize kind of you know what you've told me so far? Oh, certainly. Okay. So um, basically, you're a teacher, and you have two children, and your lifestyle is pretty busy. You, um, your day starts with kind of just rushing to get your children out the door, and then your um, school day is filled with 
you know, tons of other kids and um, busyness and you, um, so eating kind of eating the right foods in, in those times is kind of difficult because it's hard to resist kind of the, the break room and it's hard to resist, um, you know, just wanting to go to a quiet place in order to, um, to kind of be stressed and having whatever is nearby. And then after dinner, it's kind of, or for dinner, it's, you know, after a long day, it's really hard for you to kind of um, um, prepare dinner so you and the kids go out and it's like a social outing for you. And, yes. and then by the time you go to sleep at night, it's just watching TV with some snacks. It's kind of hard to resist the, those temptations. And yes. um, But you have been su- successful in the past and kind of um, uh, um, having kind of a more strict um, diet um, in order to lose weight, but um, the, the amount of planning and, and hard work that and thinking about that goes before is kind of overwhelming at times, and it's frustrating when you can't stay um, on top of the, on top of the diet. Yes, exactly. That's exactly exactly right. Okay. <coughs> so anything you want to add to that, or or anything that I said that wasn't really good. Oh, gosh, no, I don't think so. That sounds like a complete history of my situation. <laughs> okay. Okay, great. Um, so tell me what you think that the next steps you, you could take in kind of um, meeting your goal and, and, and losing the weight. Well, I, I think being that my life isn't going to get any less busy anytime soon, maybe if I could work with what I'm actually doing and say, um, start out by requesting, and I know a lot of these fast food places have mm-hmm. brochures on the amount of calories and even points that... Uh, Time is up. Begin feedback. Okay. That uh, their food has to help me make some better choices. Maybe I'll start there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> okay. Um, um, okay. Well, how hopeful are you that you'll be able to do this? I'm hopeful. I, I think if I start little instead of trying to take on everything at once that, you know, I'll be more successful this time. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. All right. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. Thank